Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Tamara Bodner, and I'd like to welcome you all today to the Science Collaborative Space at the University of Calgary. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biological Sciences and hold an Azraeli Accelerator Professorship in Transdisciplinary Neurodevelopment Research. My research focus here at the University at the Faculty of Science is on understanding how the early environment impacts health across the lifespan with an emphasis on risk versus resilience to health problems. I'm also proud to be an ind Indigenous scholar and have ongoing partnerships with Indigenous communities. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the University of Calgary is located in the heart of Southern Alberta, both acknowledging and paying tribute to the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, comprised of the Sitsika, the Pagani, and the Kainai First Nation, the Sutina First Nation, and the Stony Nakoda, including the Shiniki, Bearspaw, and Good Stony First Nation. The city of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Today we'll hear from the Minister of Advanced Education, Rajan Sani, about Government of Alberta's investment in the University of Calgary. The President of the University, Dr. Ed McCauley, will also speak to the importance of these investments and future students to future students, researchers, and our community at large. I'm very pleased to welcome the Minister of Advanced Education, the Honourable Rajan Sani, to make today's announcement. Thank you, Tamara, for that introduction, and it is such a pleasure to be here today, once again, at my alma mater, the University of Calgary. I want to thank all of the University of Calgary officials for hosting us today for today's exciting announcement. Now, we all know this institution as Canada's entrepreneurial university. From creating jobs with a 94% after-graduation employment rate, supporting local businesses, fostering companies' products and solutions, and contri contributing $16.5 billion to the Alberta economy, the University of Calgary plays an important role in our province. It's a place of critical research and skills development, transforming Canada's energy landscape as a number one institution in the world for unconventional petroleum energy research. It's a place where bold ideas begin. I think of the University of Calgary and all of Alberta's post-secondary institutions as doorways to the future, forward-looking, ready to think and act ahead of tomorrow. It's that sense of the future, the atmosphere of anticipation, I can actually feel it right now in the air, that pervades our universities, colleges, and polytechnics. Right now, our province is a place of energy and opportunity, as Alberta continues to be the economic engine of Canada, there is no doubt. In shaping this political, pardon me, in shaping this potential and guiding our economic progress, our government is focused more than ever on job creation and diversification. We know that answering the needs of our economy now and in the future requires innovation, creativity, and strategic investment. And that is what brings us here today. As government, we know that finding our way in this age of technology and change depends on collaboration with our valued stakeholders, post-secondary institutions and students, industry partners, and community organizations. One such example of collaboration and innovation is a proposed new multidisciplinary hub. This new building will serve as the University of Calgary's primary research, collaboration, and multidisciplinary science hub. With its focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, otherwise known as the STEM disciplines, the facility will contain research laboratories, a centralized instrumentation core, laboratory supports, support space and workspace for researchers, graduate students, postdoctoral fellows, and other trainees. The hub will support the consolidation and rationalization of research activities, creating new opportunities for multidisciplinary scientific research and collaboration with industry. I am very pleased to announce that the Government of Alberta is contributing $5 million in planning funding for the multidisciplinary hub this year. Yeah. 
Thank you. That does de deserve some applause, so thank you for that. Our investment in the planning phase of this building will help ensure any future taxpayer dollars are used efficiently and effectively. And I'm happy to also tell you that this is not the only investment we're making at the University of Calgary this year. You've heard some of these announcements before. We've had a number of exciting announcements that are actually worth revisiting. Alberta's agricultural producers and our rural communities rely on veterinary medicine to keep livestock and other animals healthy. Fortunately, the University of Calgary is home to the newest veterinary school in Canada, already ranked number three in the country and number 37 globally. We have invested $59 million over three years to support construction of new facilities for veterinary medicine students. And I'm looking forward to seeing shovels in the ground for this project and hearing many updates as the work progresses. We have also committed $8.4 million over three years to support enrollment expansion in veterinary medicine. These investments will see the veterinary medicine program accommodate up to 50 additional seats, doubling the total to 100 students. This will give more students a chance to train for a successful careers as veterinarians closer to home. Investing in veterinary medicine will not only increase the number of Alberta veterinarians and maintain animal health, it will support the sectors of our economy that rely on animal health. I also want to highlight a recent investment of $9 million over three years to support and expand the School of Public Policy. And I'm personally very thrilled with this investment because I've done a lot of work with the School of Public Policy as a politician over the last four years. The University of Calgary School of Public Policy has been recognized as one of the world's top policy schools. Its Master of Public Policy program, established in 2010, is unique in Alberta and Canada and widely recognized for its influential policy work. The school will enroll as many as 76 additional students annually through a funding agreement between the government and the university's Board of Governors. And finally, as part of Budget 2023, our government continued to build on the largest targeted enrollment expansion in Alberta's history. This year, we have invested $14.9 million for targeted enrollment expansion here at the University of Calgary. This funding will increase the number of student seats in the high demand Master of Physician Assistant and Bachelor of Nursing programs. That's on top of our 2022 investment of $61 million that created 1,537 new seats in high demand programs right here at the U of C. The University of Calgary's mandate is to achieve outcomes that support and encourage economic, social, and cultural prosperity that are valuable to all Albertans, particularly now as the face of Alberta is changing. Alberta's government shares this vision as we work to ensure that Albertans have the skills, knowledge, and competencies that are critical to our province's future. By making these targeted investments and working together to understand tomorrow's workforce needs, we are connecting students to fulfilling career paths that are key to Alberta's economic growth. So I'd say let's work together to ensure that Albertans and students that we welcome from around the world, around the globe, can discover remarkable opportunities here and keep Alberta moving forward. And thank you once again for this opportunity to share this announcement with all of you. And thank you once again to everybody at the University of Calgary who made this possible. And now I'm just going to hand over the podium to our president, Ed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sani, um, and welcome home. It's always great to have, a, have you on our campus. Good morning, everybody. I'm joined here with some of my colleagues um, in the audience, Dr. Rob McCorkle, the Associate Dean from Veterinary Medicine, Dr. Jackie Siebert, the Interim Director of the School of Public Policy, and also Dean Kristen Bates, the Dean of the Faculty of Science. The University of Calgary is grateful for the government of Alberta's ongoing and increasing support. As you mentioned, we are Canada's entrepreneurial university, truly a place to start something, a brand which we take some very, very seriously with more startup companies created here than any other Canadian university, producing innovations in everything from energy through to health and beyond, public policy to veterinary medicine. We also produce extremely talented people, like more veterinarians to support Alberta's critical cattle industry as well as the agricultural sector. 
workers with in-demand training or retaining to meet the job market's needs. In fact, as you mentioned, Minister, um, the university post-graduation rate is actually 96% for all grads and 94% for those in their particular discipline, which I think is something that the faculty, staff, and our students should be very, very proud of. They're going out and they are changing the world. We also foster entrepreneurs with access to mentorship and resources through an innovation ecosystem that is demonstrating, that is operating beyond other universities in the country and truly making a difference in society. The University of Calgary plays a big part in Calgary's, Alberta's, and Canada's economies. Whether that's supporting the energy transformation and decarbonization, or making game-changing breakthroughs in exciting new areas like quantum computing. With help, Alberta's economy grow, we help Alberta's economy grow and diversify with our graduates, our technologies, and our companies. And we help the economy directly, employing people, supporting local businesses, bringing research funding into Alberta, and in total, our total e annual economic impact is estimated at $16.5 billion annually. We're also growing with new investments, many supported by the province, in physical infrastructure. Last year, we had record enrollment, and demand is forecasted to grow, which is why investments like today's are so needed and so appreciated. So we can meet our demand, demand to build our sector, especially in the critical science and technology sectors, and in turn, support Alberta's increasing labor force needs. So thank you again, Minister, for your announcements today about the for the Faculty of Science, for the School of Public Policy, your continuing investment in the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. I know that one of the people in the first row of the audience here, Tanil Shandro, the former president of, of our GSA, is really thrilled about your investment in the Multidisciplinary Science Hub. Um, she was really clapping very, very hard when we got <laughs> So thank you again, Minister, for your support, your continuing support for the University of Calgary and the post-secondary system in the province of Alberta. And what I'd like to do now is to invite our Dean of Science, Dr. Kristen Bates, to say a few words. Kristen? These tall people. Uh, I, once again, I just want to say thanks for this amazing, this is honestly a transformative investment, not just for the Faculty of Science and the University of Calgary, but for Alberta and Canada. This funding and the planning for the new beautiful uh, building, which will go right in the parking lot uh, behind us, will allow us to do things that we have never been able to do before here. We will train the next generation of leaders in STEM that Alberta needs for its advantage. We will have research facilities unlike any across Canada. This is going to rocket our research impact and our innovation unlike any other university or province in the country. It is truly transformative um, because Alberta needs science. Our success is built on science and technology. Our future success is built on that too. And we are here to answer that need. Um, this investment is an investment for all of, Alber all of Alberta and all of Canada. And it is allowing us to get science done. So with that, I want to say a real thank you um, to the government and especially the minister for supporting this amazing initiative. Um, and with that, we want to thank everybody who has attended and uh, we will be passing this on for questions. Thank you. Okay, we'd like to open up the floor to any questions from the media at this point. We'd like to limit one question, one follow-up. Anyone on the floor? No questions. Hi, sorry, there's a wall. I'll try to make eye contact. Helen Pike, CBC News. I, um, this might be for the president, actually. Just wondering about um, timelines. Obviously, this $5 million is, is towards planning, but you know, when, when can people expect to see this, this hub in, in, in the parking lot behind us? I think Kristen should take that question. Sure. Um, 
Uh, we're working quite closely with the government in terms of the planning and design. Uh, the $5 million will enable us to do that in a, in a very cost-effective way. This is an incredible investment for Alberta in terms of STEM, and we want to make sure that we're getting it right. Um, and Kristen can talk about some of the, the components that will make it right, Kristen, and the timeline. Yeah, so some of the components that's going to make this building really unique um, is on the, on the bottom floors, uh, there'll be our big teaching and learning hubs, so will allow us to now take in more students and train them directly for our industry needs. For example, new programs in energy science, agriculture science, um, more computer scientists, uh, health researchers. But up above, this is where it's really going to dramatically change how we do research. It's going to be open concept labs that are allow us to quickly adapt to the needs of today's researchers, but the future researchers. It's going to allow us to leverage all our infrastructure. Um, and we get to the timing, uh, we are looking at potentially opening the new building um, likely 2029, if not earlier. Thank you. Uh, and just to follow up, um, obviously having, uh, an, this is a net new building on campus as I understand. Um, what can it do in terms of student space capacity? Can it actually add to um, the science faculty and how many students they, they, can, um, they can accept in a year? Yeah, so this is a building, as I said, it's not just for science, it's for the University of Calgary. It is designed for teaching innovation in STEM. Um, we are looking at a minimum of, and this is a minimum of 2,000 additional science students that we could potentially fill if we are given the, the base funding from the, uh, from the government of Alberta. That's, I'm not allowed to, I'm like, I don't know which way I'm going anymore. Sorry about that. have it from the University of Calgary. So yeah, we're building, we're building the space and the capacity and the programs to be ready to go to answer Alberta's needs. So yes, we will have that capacity, a minimum of potentially 2,000 students. And that doesn't include the amazing number of additional graduate students, postdocs, research associates that will uh, be above in the tower in the research facility. This will really generate a pipeline of talent in research and innovation that the city has never seen before. Are there any other questions from the floor? Seeing none, thank you very much, everyone. That wraps up the formal portion of our announcement.